good morning family how are we doing welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome my name is akubeza and i'm a content creator based in lagos nigeria <laughs> It's Sunday, so I'm on my way to church. There's a bit of traffic from the first service, so I'm just waiting and then wait for brunch. And I'm going to check out a new brunch spot, so it should be an interesting vlog. Hope you enjoy it. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. There's always so much traffic, like after church. Yeah. Look at the traffic. Like, we really need to move to our bigger church. So, Havessa has actually gotten a new location they haven't yet told us where exactly it is but apparently it's not far from this lucky church already so yeah this is like second round about St. Paulus style over there so yeah I'm excited for when we move to our new church because parking and the traffic going in and out of church is always an issue like and today I am a bit late but then at the same time it's Thanksgiving service so service is running over but on the note on the note of Thanksgiving, I hope you guys are okay with all this honey that people are honing. But on the note of Thanksgiving, question of the day, what are you grateful for in 2022? Oh, I've not even officially told you guys happy new month on the vlog. So happy new month! I love you so much. Like this year is ending just on a positive note for me, and I'm so grateful for that. But obviously, what I'm grateful for this year is my faith journey like you know this year has been such a blessed year for me my first year sober my first year you know consistent my first year just feeling like okay i'm finally aligned i'm on track so awesome 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 please let me know what you've been grateful for and i join you in thanking god for all he has done for us throughout this year and I'll catch you later hey we have thanksgiving service today and when we have thanksgiving service we usually wear ankara or some kind of trash. Look at people in their trash. So cute. Hello. See my outfit. Yeah. I love you. Love me, love me. Church joke today. Hallelujah. Free of drugs. Free of new clothes. You know, and as a sport, I understood that it takes humility to reflect and see what God has done for you. You know, many years, not so many years ago, we would check our pockets looking for a thousand naira, five hundred naira. But look at us today in the full glory of God. Can you celebrate God again in the house this morning? Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. When it's done, I take the the one beneath it, even the secret. So it got worse. It affected me. I couldn't even finish my university. So I decided to go for a rehabilitation. 2015. 
what led me to that decision was when one of us smoked in the joint where I normally go to take drugs. And in the joint when you die, you die, they just break your knee, your elbow, just to fold you so that they can fold you and put inside a sack and throw you outside in the night by 12. So they usually have this uh, negotiation with Loma. So when they come, they just My pack God. the body and put it inside the me. So I was scared. In my presence, a woman with two children came because of drugs, no money. She gave out the two children for drugs in my presence. So all those things I said, God, is not. I, you've given me this great gift to serve you. Lord, I want to serve you. Take this out of my hand. So I decided to go. Just tell us for seconds. Okay, Pastor. So when I got to the rehabilitation center, we are 100 by the two. 40 got to the place. 30. 30 that graduated. Out of the 30, I'm one of the three that is standing. Wow. I just want to give God the glory. For seven good years now, I'm standing strong. That a day, a day will pass by. Then I cannot stay without, if there's no money for drugs, I will what look for drugs. I do cocaine. I do uh, I do refno. I do Pakalini totally. And and I look for if there's no money for all that, I look for soccer way. You know, soccer where you open it the first bed that comes out, you have to sniff it. Or we look for a nail, rusted nail, the boy it to cover ourselves with it. So wow. that we can high. Or we look for fuel. We don't have money to get fuel. We just look for where all those bikes people pipe and pack their bikes. We just take one of the bikes, sniff, 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 sniff. For seven years now.
so sweet. Mm -hmm. Auntie, how could you love my song? I love your song. You're so talented, my sugar. <laughs> you guys go to the beach. Am I missing we something here? <laughs> and for, and, Auntie, how could you know what that that is called? No. It's called Landmark. Oh, Landmark Beach. Oh, you love that beach? Yes. Oh, wow. You know, I can do well because someone was having a birthday party. Yes. Oh, nice. After you're having a birthday. Wow. All your toys are on the floor. Why? Yes, I can change. I can Oh wow, is that Ludo? Do yes. you know how to play it? Yes. It only has to be with, with four players. Wow. Yeah. It. <laughs> Look who is preparing for a London winter. Ho 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 ho. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Top boy. Uh-uh, plus the hood. Top boy. Okay. Turn around. Okay. <laughs> Let me see now. Top boy. <laughs> Fresh boy. <laughs> Arise, O oh, compatriots. Nigeria's call, obey. To serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith, the labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. To serve with heart and mind, one nation bound in. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why I think we need to cancel the Jaffa culture. I would love to hear your reactions in the comment section and please, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. So um, this video is actually a special episode of my Ask Aku series. My Ask Aku series is my weekly Q&A series where I answer your questions and share my opinions on a range of topics that you guys have asked me to address. Thank you.